let's get back into Ocarina of Time HD. So you're you said you're going for the Master Sword now? Uh, yeah, and and don't don't uh, ruin it. Don't spoil this uh, twenty year old game I've played five times. Um, but I'm only saying that because you tweeted that. Uh, yes, that is true. Uh, but d don't tell me as I say this um, that I just beat okay. Jabu Jabu's belly, and I seem to remember I've got the pendants now. So I think I just go to the Temple of Time, and it's it's Master Sword time, is my understanding. But don't tell me. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Kayla says it's uh, nice weather in Kansas. That's good. It's, uh, it's pretty damn hot this week in Connecticut. Uh, let's see. But now it's going to be stormy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just go in to get my vino. It was windy and vino. misty, like it was misting, uh, which is usually an indicator that there's a big storm nearby, which makes okay. sense because I was telling you I didn't know a tropical storm was coming through. I've been buried in uh, emails today, but it was very hot. So when I got back, like, kind of coated in uh, rain, as you call it, I was sweating also. So it was not too pleasant. Yeah, it's been quite humid. Wait, is this... Damn it, that's the Deku Tree. I was going the right way. All right, Good I just need to get the hell out of here. Um, did you get, like, hung up on anything after I left last... Ooh. Um, yeah! Uh, first of all, my internet went out. It was, like, scheduled maintenance or whatever, so it went out for a while in Jabu Jabu's Belly. And Jabu Jabu's Belly was just annoying the hell out of me, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's I'm just gonna great. check this just to see what this does. It Let's hits see. stuff, I think. Yeah, I think so, too, but I, I want to remember the, uh, like, presentation. Um, but yeah, Dodongo's Cavern was no issue. That, that's no problem at all. Uh, Jabu Jabu was annoying. Oh, you can't see, but on the other screen here, I can pick... Huh. Okay, well, I don't need that. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, it doesn't like that at all. I don't know if you're getting this. It sounded like a, a frog. Oh, it, it did not like that. Okay, I'm never going into one of those again. Mento <laughs> DX, it's the nicest thing anybody's ever said about me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Mike puts the ass in Vino Veritas. In, in Vino Veritas. <laughs> oh, man, that's... That's like LinkedIn shit. LinkedIn? I'm gonna put that on my LinkedIn profile. Oh, oh good. I, I put the ass in in Vino Veritas. Oh, I see. Yes. In Vino Veritas. I Is always that right? Veritas. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Now that we switched down the resolution, how's uh, is that running smooth now for folks? They're looking pretty good. Workable. Oh, Jessful Mongoose wants to know, Mike, are you committed to the punch out feature? Yes, I've not had time to think about logistics or scheduling, but I, I do want to do it. So yes, I'm committed. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I think that's going to be amazing. Mike, that is the, the triumph of that game is so up your alley. Uh, Kayla is in the chat. Uh, Kayla might remember a couple uh, Christmases ago, she had never played it, and I kind of coached her through Punch-Out, and she was up to like five or six in the morning ah! playing it. It does seem to capture that pattern recognition and kind of uh, managing your nerves that I like. And it's just like total like boxing triumph. I mean, it's like it should uh, touch into your your Rocky fandom. Okay. Everything about it sounds up my alley. I believe you. I think you'll love it. So, but I just need to figure out when. Yeah. You just let me know, and I will be there. You're gonna be my Mickey. Oh wait. Um. Yes, I will. Absolutely. Well, they said the farts weren't coming through. That doesn't make any... anybody hear the the Waluigi. Gotta make sure, because Mike, you saw the new Mario effects I have now, right? Uh, the ones that, like the clip I saw the other night when Gizmo probably, was yes. like having Night a panic attack. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, yeah, that's the good stuff I got now. Good job. Uh, okay, that, that time. Oh, that, that should be good. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, no, okay, uh, we missed Zelda's fucking like left field to home base throw. Yeah. <laughs> of the ocarina. <laughs> I really like Ganon's like musical motif that cues every time he comes into frame. Oh yeah, they're excellent. God, I really liked him uh, in a. Uh, well, when they added him in Smash Bros. Brawl, but especially in uh, I played him a lot in Ultimate. You played as Ganondorf a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a stronger Captain Falcon. 
Yeah, in Brawl, he he was very much that. Um, they they added a few more nuances in Ultimate that made him a little more fun. Um, I still prefer Captain Falcon, but Ganondorf's super fun. Uh, I like it. I don't know if we're going to for sound effects during Ganondorf's attack here. Uh, sort of. It's uh. I was it, just marveling at the fucking detail on his horse. Well, that's the thing. It's like an HD texture pack, but for the audio, is what the farts are. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. That's I what understand I'm going now. Hello, Russell House. Unknown? Yes, I hit the big goal, so I've got a grilled cheese burrito on the way. Which, uh, we'll do a little intermission, and Mike and I will chat with you. Elix? Yeah, this game looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, Justin Mongoose paid for the Taco Bell. Thank you so much. Okay, so now Ocarina time. Where is that? Angry Moose asking if there's Metal Gear Solid on Tuesday. What? No, I, I did not play Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I did. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I did not. I, I would not do that without consulting you. Uh, yeah, I would be frankly offended. Ooh, that ocarina. Like, Look at that texture on that ocarina. That's like if you just decided to stream Warframe and I found out a few days. I would probably actually be offended. <laughs> yeah, tonight it's uh, Warframe and Rainbow Six Siege night. Oh my god, I would be... And wine. Actually, that would be a really good, like, dig at me. And just wait for someone on Twitter to tell me. Yeah. And then act dumb. Like, I didn't know you liked these games. I mean, I yeah. knew you liked them, but I didn't know you want to stream them. <laughs> While reviewing wine. I love this song. Yeah, it's good. Speaking of Twilight Princess, and by speaking of, I mean when we talked about it two nights ago, uh, the Temple of Time is a fun dungeon there. Yes. Because again, yes, it's it an is. actual dungeon there uh, in that game. Yeah, yeah. It was the one with all those stone guardians good you had to choice. manipulate with the uh, Dominion Rod. I remember that being awesome. Ah, oh, man. I can't... Uh, I kind of consistently consider buying a Wii U, finally, just for Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. It's, I'm glad I hung on to mine. I, I've got mine in the closet here. Like, it's, I want to have all the Zeldas looking as good as humanly possible. That's what I'm saying. Like, when are they going to... I think I predicted last year, like, before the end of 2019, they had to at least announce like some up-res of a 3D Zelda from like Wii U or Wii. Like, Honestly, I think there is a really good remake of Skyward Sword to be made. Like, yeah, I think there like could at, be. Like tweaking stuff, like what they did with Ocarina, taking the little bits that didn't work. I mean, I know Fee's a big part, but like taking the hints out. There uh, are mods updating it so you don't need motion tracking. I've heard people say that uh, via uh, some fancy uh, component cable trickery uh, that you can do mods and stuff that will fix all that stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, and also, like, yeah, with this year being, what, Mario Anniversary, and then bringing all those 3D Marios, I imagine they'll do the same with Zelda next year. Yeah. Is this, what's, when did the first Zelda come out? Uh, 90, or sorry, 89? Is that 35 years? Wait, the first Zelda was 89? No, I'm trying, I'm just subtract 20, uh, 86. 14, yeah, 86. So, 96... Oh, so we're way past the 30th anniversary. Okay. Look at that Temple of Time. No, no, no. So I'm saying this year is Mario's 35th. That's why they're, that's what they're using oh. to like, to bring, um, what do they, remember the leak? It's Mario yeah. 64. So, that's so Zelda's so 36. Next year, next year? Is next year. That's what I'm oh. saying. Yeah, next year. So that's why I was like, what's 35 years for? So I'm like, what are they going to bring though? Like, I, I mean, oh man, what if they just did it? What if they brought this and Majora from the 3DS versions? Oh, man, that'd be incredible. I, well, here's my question. Would you rather them bring Majora and Ocarina? I'm picking those two as a pair just because they are both on the 3DS. They got ports on the 3DS. Would you yeah. rather bring those two or Wind Waker, Twilight Princess from, like, the Wii U? And I know there's probably technical stuff that this wouldn't actually translate as well as I'm saying, but... Which uh, which pairing would you rather happen? I I think I would like to have Ocarina and Majora on the Switch. I would love yeah. to have them all, obviously, but uh, yeah. 
ultimately, I like Ocarina and Majora both more than Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Yeah. And I like Wind Waker a lot, but it does not resonate with me the way it seems to with a lot of people. I think and it's I, And it wasn't the graphics. I loved when it I, when it came out. I was like, that looks awesome. I love it. Um, but the game itself, there's, there's sections in that game where I'm like, I don't want to do this. Um, I haven't played it in a while, though, so... It, uh, when I played the HD one, I think I reviewed that for Game Informer. Um, I remember thinking, like, man, this makes it just such a better game. And, like, I, I liked it a lot from the beginning, but I thought with the, the HD stuff, it was just a million times better. Yeah, because they added, like, a... Sailing was made easier, right? The Swift Sail, something. yeah. What, what was the, the change that they made? They, they made the Swift Sail, uh, you could go, like, twice as fast. Ah. And then also, there was a big fetch quest at the end. Uh, that they totally uh, fixed up. It's way, way better now. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't, I have no clue how much. I mean, so Mario is what? Galaxy, 64, and Sunshine. Was that, were those the leaks, or was it also like. I think 3D World what was rumored, 3D World. So I ostensibly, think? if they did the same thing, like, what if they did all four what? of those? Ow, ow, ow. Um. <laughs> That would be amazing. That'd be great. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. as the light, just as the light caresses the master sword. Yeah. No, this is coming from the game. This is in the 3DS version. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. Here, Mike. This can be uh, this can be the YouTube thumbnail when I put this up on YouTube. So when he's taking the sword out, let's make YouTube faces. You ready? Oh. Okay. All right. Ready? When he's taking it out, we don't have to hold it the whole time. All right. Ready? Okay, all right, get ready, get ready. I almost just uh, name dropped like six people there before I realized I should have talked shit on. <laughs> there's like, there's like overlapping the parts in Waluigi right now. Yeah, Waluigi time. Oh god, I hate that, I can hear it. It's bad! Okay. We got peace. We got peace. Waluigi, it's Walu he's screaming Waluigi time as he enters the sacred realm for the first time in millennia. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> as was intended. <laughs> Mento DX says, I hope the YouTube screenshot also includes the message about the fart. <laughs> Where do you get those sound effects? Uh, the Mario screaming, especially. Uh, that one was already in the sound alerts thing. A couple of them, people in my Discord, uh, I just added the new crop dust fart sound effect uh, that was uh, made by somebody in my Discord. So, uh, but a lot of them are just in the sound alerts thing. There's like 12 pages of farts that I choose between. I'm pretty discerning. Oh, also, side note, I fucking forgot about Roru, this character who is just inconsequential. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a fucking babe. Look at those quads. <laughs> it's quads. Yeah. No. What happened? Oh, did someone just do the $50 thing? Yeah. I'm so sorry, everyone. We'll get through this, like so much. It's in my audio. It's happening so much that it's cutting out. Yeah, no, it's too much. It's way too much. It's too long. It's too bad, and it's too expensive. Everything about it is just too. <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna get. It's taking me a while to get used to that. I can't even hear you over. I can't hear you over. We can't even have a conversation. gotta be over soon okay. wait no this is the intermission it sounds like it's over but he's ramping up for more hang on we're not done we're not done 
Virtual uh, Bielik says, why would this even be an option? I, it's bad. Oh, we got a crop dust part coming in. Hang on. This is really good, by the way. Yeah, this is a good gen and tonic. Okay. Okay. Hey, Link's big now. He grew up. That's just the sound his body makes when his, he's warping through time and his body's stretching out. <laughs> It hurts so much every time you warp. <laughs> I don't even know what that sounds like for you, Mike. It was just random nonsense coming through my mic. It's like it overpowers the audio and has to cut out for a second, and then it comes back in for a second, and then it cuts out. Just know it's atrocious here. Oh, I just realized that that's on while we do a watch party. I'm going to be the only one hearing it. Oh, God. I wish I could turn off individual buttons. I'm just imagining, like, Rocky 3 when Mickey's dying and Rocky's <laughs> over him and Mario's just screaming. Or as Apollo's being murdered in the ring, Mario's screaming. Wow, 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 wow! Well, Stop the best the was during the final quickening in Highlander when uh, right before There Can Be Only One, somebody played a really good fart. Or while Rocky's driving in his Lambo to, like, in the dark, it's like Mario just fucking shouting. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm consistently amazed by what people will spend their money on. <sighs> For everyone's benefit. <sighs> I'm still not used to seeing my wine tasting face as an emote. Oh yeah, that was that was from my Discord as well. They they do good work. They made a nice KFDR392 uh, emote recently. I saw that, yeah. Okay. There's that KFDR. Oh, you got it, Mike. Mm hmm. That is a good emote. <laughs> Shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> Just get spammed. Seven years. Uh, man, I, I always, I kind of always forget that they're like, you, you went to sleep for seven years literally because you were a twerp. They're like, wait, this is the hero. Oh, Let's they're just waiting for you to like, like yeah, to, to like get a bod. <laughs> what were you doing seven years ago? 2013. I was a game informer. <laughs> I had my first GDC. I had just left Game Informer and was back in college. Gotcha, okay. My junior year. <laughs> I heard that one. <laughs> it's great, because people love to time it during all the most dramatic moments of games, so just effectively, just... Like, if you want to see the dramatic moments as intended, maybe this isn't the straight. She can... She can link locking eyes. <laughs> There's a reason I played Last of Us off stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Last of Us with the fart noises would be. Oh man, there'd be some scenes you could do with. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking funny, actually. <laughs> pretty right, like immediately in that game, you could really fuck with the cutscenes. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail, but there are definitely some cutscenes that screaming Mario and rampant farting would really be. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just picturing the multitude of serious scenes in that with There's either a lot. farts or Mario or Waluigi dying. Yeah. Oh, Kayla, if you're watching now, here's the part that you would always freak out and close your eyes uh, when you were a kid, and I would play it. She hated this part. God, they look so creepy now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, just like fucking Sophie's Choice with fart noises enabled. <laughs> oh, here's the ghost guy. Yeah. Uh 
Oh, I don't remember that joke. I don't either. Was that always in the game? Did we just not know what that joke was when we were kids? I agree with him, but I don't remember it. <laughs> I do remember this guy being horny, so maybe that was there. <laughs> uh, Kayla remembers. Okay, so if I get those, I'll bring it to him. Yeah, it's those specific, uh, what, four pose on Hyrule Field? Oh, those big ones? I remember, you could shoot the bow and arrow while you're on horseback, right? Yeah. Yeah. I remember where, like, two of them are. Like, specific parts of Hyrule Field. I forgot it was specific parts. Yeah, you had to... That's what took me and my brothers a while. We didn't realize that until... Uh, we finally got the strategy guide. Oh, yeah. I Primo? think I want to get Epina first. I can't remember if it was Prima or Brady. I think it was Prima. Thank you for reminding me about the bottom screen overlay. There you go. I think I got the Prima ones for this and Majora. Uh, I think I can get Epina right now, right? Yeah. Just gotta do the race stuff. It's Against the... Uh, is it Igor? Is his name Igor? No, it's 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 something weirder. The the dude that works here? Oh, hang on. Yeah. I just buzzed in my Taco Bell. I think we're good. Let's go get a horse. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry to tease everyone with over the time. Come back. Well, first you teased us with Ocarina. Yeah. And then you teased us over the top. <laughs> this game sucks now. <laughs> Over the top ruined ocarina for me. A video <laughs> essay by Mike Mahardy. Uh, oh Jesus! I want to start doing shit like that. Video essays like uh, that. That's the that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start doing video essays about connecting Stallone movies to my favorite games. Yeah. Wait, you're chasing chickens. This is Creed. There you go. There's your Rocky. Rocky, what Rocky would that be? One. One? Yeah, one. Creed one. Uh, people really like the watch party stuff, right? Same here. I would definitely uh, do more of that. Me too. Okay, so wait, do I play something here? What was Soraya's song? It was like... Uh, I'm sorry, wait, did you come to Lone Lone Ranch as a kid? No, do I have to do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. See some people saying, uh, Kickboxer. You can definitely do that. Oh, that was Sun Song. Okay, well, if I can't do it here anyway, then I'll leave. Is Cobra on Prime? If Cobra's on Prime, I would totally do a watch party that with Mike. Okay, so I gotta go there as a kid first. I have seen Demolition Man. Yeah. But not Cobra. To learn the song as a kid. Oh, right, the Epina song. Should I do that now, or should I do a temple? Um... You got, uh... Gotta go to the Kokiri Forest. Uh, I gotta go to Kakariko first. That's what Navi was telling me. Oh right. You, yeah. Okay. She said. Yeah. She said something about the. Um, you need something in Kakariko. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> I have not seen Broken Arrow. Mm. I've seen Running Man. Yes, that's a great one. Jugglers. Vampy. Oh, can I do the hookshot now? 
Are you asking? Is that rhetorical? No, that's an actual question. Uh, yeah, that's why you're coming here. Because you can't get into the forest temple without the hookshot. That's right. That's right. That's right. Great. Hey, remember me? The chickens are dead. I forgot what I have to do here, but I'll try it. Oh, cat. Got a cat there. Remember Dampy is like up here-ish? I don't have to wait for him to dig, right? Shabby's dead when you're an adult. Right, but like when I chase him, isn't it like right here? I know there's like a note in that shack. A bottle on a foe? Kakuko Village is great in Breath of the Wild. It's like an actual like Japanese style. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Oh, here we go. I remember just having to chase him, basically. And are the wallet Skulltula things, is that only as a kid? No, you do it as an adult too. Okay. Certain Skulltulas are only in certain spots in different time periods though. No, 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 I mean, uh, I mean going to like actually like cash in the stuff. That's both, yeah. Okay. I'm always being terrified I was gonna screw this up. Yeah, when he does it around the corner, he's a dick. Yeah. Any of the streams up for a People's Choice Award? Uh, not like People's Choice Award, like that branding, but like it's a People's yeah, Choice, yeah. uh, it's a, the podcast awards. It's a yeah. podcast oh, cool. ceremony. Yeah, yeah. It's been around like 15 years, so it's up in the uh, TV and film category. Anybody wants to go to podcastawards.com and vote for Crane in the stream? Much appreciated. Hook shot. Excellent. Love the hook shot. Let's go ahead and get that equipped. Put that on X. Okay. Yeah. Good sounds. Weirdest noise ever when it hits like concrete. Think. Oh, is this the song of Sun? Yeah. So can you not get there if you don't have the song of Sun? It's or, not. Or wait. It's not the sun. Which one is it? Good choice. Which Want one? Want me to tell it? you? Or? Yeah. It's uh, the Song of Time, the one he taught, Roru taught you. Right, I'm trying to remember. How does that go in this? Um... Shit. If I get over to that page. Right A down, right A down. Wait. Right A down. What's down? That doesn't make sense. No. Hold on. It's the uh, it's the 3DS version too. 
Uh, should be Y L R Y L R. Y L R. Excellent. Thank you. Mm-hmm. They really did figure it out with the C buttons back in the day. Yeah, yeah, they were nice. It's like extra, it's super confusing here because it's the other buttons, but also they're mapped to like, you know, I'm playing with an Elite controller, so it's yeah. uh, very confusing. Ooh, I don't have the Song of Storms, right? Or does he teach me it? He teaches me it, and I do it as a kid, and that screws everything up. HD, there you go. He's going to town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. Get out of here. Let me pull it. Pull it. Song. Yeah. Vertebreaker says that dude loves holes. <laughs> I like holes. <laughs> uh, is that diagram of the windmill always there? That that looks new. That Behind might be it. new. Um, Wabiski, uh, Story of Ricky, I have seen probably a dozen times at least. I have checked to see if it's on Prime. It is not. Uh, Story of Ricky is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's incredible. What's it about? Oh, man. Do you remember the old Craig Kilborn Daily Show and the five questions segment? Yeah. No, wait. I'm thinking of Craig Ferguson. Okay. Well, basically, there was this clip back when they would go to this one segment and always showed this dude. It looked like an old like kung fu movie. And it showed this dude like just crushing this other dude's head. His head just exploding like a watermelon. And I instantly was just like, oh, my God. I have to find out what that's from. And uh, I looked it up, and it was this movie, Ricky O, The Story of Ricky. It's just like an absurdly violent uh, movie from like 89, 90. Um, it's, it's incredible. It's so good. Um, just super violent, but it's not on uh, Watch Party. Damn it. I really want a wallet. Wait, you! The cast has been broken! Yeah! I'm gonna get a drink. And actually feed my cats, but it'll take really quick. Okay. All right. Let's, see. Let's uh, should we do Epina? Just get that out of the way. So we would have to go back to being a kid, which you have to go back to the Temple of Time every time, right? Wait, did the Temple of Time song warp me there? Uh, what is that song on this? Oh, jeez. Song of Time? that be it? Yeah. YLR, YLR. That's not the song. The Prelude of Light. All right, okay. Thank you. I'll just go do the thing. Oh, you can't become a kid again until you beat the Forest Temple. Good to know. Thank you. How many times have I finished this game? I would guess five or six. I've probably like started it and gotten through a few dungeons like many times, but and I've done Master Quest twice, I think. I did it once on that GameCube disc and I did it once on the 3DS version. Yorkin, I would say this is probably the best way to experience the game that I've seen. This is uh, it's good as hell. I'm not gonna do Fire Temple. That's not the order you go in. I'm not a maniac. Fire Temple I don't remember having too much trouble with. Yeah, Wrestle House, totally. 
Sound all right on my mic versus the game audio? Any tweaking needed? Come on. That's good. Great. Hey, I forgot they're all over. Yeah. Kokiri Forest. I don't think I spent much time here at all as an adult. That was so cool how much everything changes. That's yeah, so smart. It's you know I always love the Dark World thing in uh, Link to the Past as well. This is a yeah. really interesting take on that concept. Chesterfer, <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing. Three months. Okay. So do I follow? So that's to go to Goron Village. Great. That's to Lake Hylia. Here's this little dipshit. Down. She? Oh wait, because Kokiri kids don't age. Oh, I need to play the song. Okay. Raya's song is R-Y-X, R-Y-X. All right. So it'd be... Okay. I have not, Wibisky. I'm not sure if my stream has the right title right now. Can somebody confirm that? Yeah, it says Legend of Zelda and Akarikard of Oh good. Akarikard of Time. 3D yeah. HD part two. That's correct. That's correct then. is really good. It has that permanent marker smell I really like. Ew. I hope I did the right thing. Thank you, Hassan. Motherfuck. Uh. Shit. I feel like I can't hear it as distinctly. Maybe I need to turn my TV up. bad or if I don't have it turned up loud enough, but I can't tell the difference. Yeah, man, in the N64 version, you really didn't even need the noise. You could just, again, look at the, the blackness. I wonder if I can do that here. I, I think it doesn't appear to be the case. Okay. Oh, I hear a Skultola. I got just the thing for it. It's probably on this tree. Where? What the hell is it? Can you just... Hook shot to the tree on to the left. Oh, good thinking. No. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's a pea pod somewhere. Yeah, that could be it. Damn it. Or wait, just try rolling into the tree before you leave. Sure. Nope. Damn it. Screw this up. So I went up there last time. So is it supposed to be louder? It is, but it's not 
the music is not working in this. That, yeah. I think it was behind, it was the other way. Other way, other way. This way? Yeah. And then yeah. And then up? I believe so, yes. I'm not but the music is definitely not changing. Oh god. That makes it hard it turns out. Yeah. Okay. Well, we did it. Stealth, great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Right in your ear. I'm doing great. Oh. This is going great. This is the Sense Fortress of Ocarina. <laughs> this sucks. Uh. Alright, take your time, buddy. Moblins were terrifying in this before Breath of the Wild. Well, I mean, I know they're in other games, but... Those are Moblins? Yeah, in this game. Jeez, they are way beefier than I'm used to seeing them. Yeah! <laughs> Damn it. Abs are more defined. Damn. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Is that the only one? Oh, okay. I'm gonna hook shot him. Eat shit. <laughs> you suck at this game. <laughs> I've got no excuses for this part. That was so cool for a cool. second. It was Wait, cool. Until he turned around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, may the best man win. Here's how it's gonna go down. <laughs> oh, it's just, that's it? Okay, that's easy. And a YouTube version to show that part. <laughs> I wanna get a throat rip in. I think that'll be you, small fry. <laughs> Oh, he sucks. Idiot. Yeah, you dip shit. What's up? <laughs> I'll win this game. Dan, get out of there! <laughs> this is the least elegant. <laughs> way through the maze I've ever seen. <laughs> I always strive for elegance in all that I do. Look at oh my god! <laughs> god, I love that people, enemies die like in different colored fire. Yeah. What color fire are you gonna die in? Like just black. Oh, nice. With like a white glow around it. Oh, I like it. about you. Eh, purple and yellow, probably. God, I hate this. Oh, I hear Skulltola. Eh. Yeah. Let's see if there's a Skulltola. I hear one. Ah! Just the thing. A laser sight. <laughs> oh no. How about this? Well, he does like directionals. Die in a dumb way. 
What do I have? Do I block? Do I block the thing? If you want full health, there's a fairy fountain, but I, you could just run past him. Oh, really? Yeah, once you get close enough to him and the club, when you hit the club's down, you could just run right by his shins. Yeah, first time. <laughs> His language is dying. Everyone aged, right? Oh wait, no. I was just talking about that kid. He didn't age. Sorry, I didn't. None of the Kokiri did. All right. Sheik's monologues are always fucking badass. Yeah. Servos? They shouldn't be. Are they working for others? Farts? Why would farts be turned off? How would that happen? The watch party throw it off? You turn them off for the watch party. Maybe watch party doesn't allow them? No, I didn't turn it off. I just said you wouldn't be able to hear it. Okay, people are saying they don't look off. Pretty sure I definitely heard a bunch of farts since we came back. I think I was trying to no-sell it since I didn't think Mike could hear it. I did not, I don't think. That's a good point. I said I ate a grilled cheese burrito. There's no way farts aren't available. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not working for you. Damn, Tokyo's just not working. Like, it's not showing up as an option to, like, trigger the farts? A serious problem. I need to figure out if that's the case. Yeah. Lullaby next to the sun. Oh right, I forgot about that. Yeah, you can select them. But they don't play. Let me double check this. That sounds no good at all. I'm on the same scene as I was before. That doesn't make any sense. Monitor and output. It's coming through desktop. It's just... That doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure I heard him, Servos. I'll, uh... Hmm. I'll keep an eye on it. Here, I'll do five fart sounds manually just in case they didn't. Great. I'll do Mario screaming. No. Okay, no. great. <laughs> uh, what's the fucking. Uh, it's. XAY, XAY. Okay, so it's... Definitely heard that. Yep. You heard it too? I did, yeah. Great. Really quick, punchy part. It? Okay. Great. Thank you, Dan. Wait. No fairy? Do I do it here? Is there a song I can play in front of the Sheikah Stone to make if a you, fairy come If you die in the forest, if in this next room anyway, you'll just respawn walking into the next room. It's the first room in the temple. I'd rather have full health, though, if I could. I promise not to make fun of you if you die here. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. I love the music in here. Yeah, it's really good.
Song of it sounds Storm. like an Oasis song. <laughs> Actually, not Oasis. Never mind. <laughs> it sounds like something. Good point. Whoa, those leaves. <laughs> this is my wonder wall. <laughs> oh, Dolphin's saying maybe the Song of Storms. Man, those leaves look real good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those those things. I'm gonna try Song of Storms. I would really like that full health. Hello! Fellas! Oh my god, if you died that way? <laughs> oh. Damn it! I don't feel well because that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, L R A L R A. That sounded good. Wait, I thought I heard it. Did I not hear a fairy sound? Got it. That was very... Yeah. Great. It's weird, they're yellow now. Or at least that one was. Oh, maybe they are yellow when they come from the Sheikah Stones. Put an empty bottle... here. Great. Okay. It looks like you're in the bottle. Yeah, it gives you extra life. It's like a Mega Man head. It's like okay. Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Good. Good one. Okay. Here we go. I thought it was one. Time. There's a fart. Fairy fountain downstairs in this dungeon. Okay. Anyway, this seems like a pretty solid part to do. No, no, quick... no, not not in this dungeon. It's back. It's up that ladder into the maze. It's that first area back in the sacred forest meadow. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, this is a good spot to take a dog break. I gotta take those dogs out to do their business. I'm gonna hop yeah. back in to the forest temple here. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it, it's totally an anxiety thing for me with the, uh, the aisle seats. Yeah, I, I don't know. I preferred window seats at first, but then when I got <laughs> used to flying, and now that I hated the flying, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I've seen enough of the world from a plane now. Yeah, I need to be able to get up and move around if I'm not feeling good. Well, also, like, I used to sleep like it was nothing on planes. I sleep with, um, like, white noise, like fans. Mm -hmm. So planes, as soon as I get on and, like, as soon as I sit down and I'm about to settle in, if, like, my whole row has sat, I'll fall asleep immediately. And when I wake up, we're, like, two hours into a flight. It's awesome. However, at some point, that just stopped happening. So, like, I didn't need the fuselage to, like, lean my head against anymore. So I was like, okay, there's no reason to get a window seat. I Let's go in the aisle and I can just get up and prance around whenever I need to. If I could have one mundane superpower, it would be to be able to sleep easily on flights. I did not realize how well I had it until I stopped. Everybody was like, oh, holy shit, I'm jealous. I'm like, it's not that great, but now that I can't, I'm like, it was it was awesome. Especially once traveling becomes a thing again, I'm gonna, I, I really wish I could learn that skill. Yeah, and like, I, there was a while where I was like, as many people do, it's like, okay, I'll just drink a ton. Yeah. And I, I would drink on flights more than I would drink, like, going out with friends. It was just like, yep. It was drinking in an unhealthy, like, coping way. I was like, all yeah, right, well, yeah, let's not do this. That's the only time I do I drink in that manner, where it's like, I need to get drunk to deal with this, you know? Yeah, like, a few drinks, whatever. Like, that, it, if it calms your nerves, that's that's cool. But I was doing, like, I got to assist some sleep, and I don't want to take... If I take a sleeping pill and I miss that window, I'm just going to be weirdly, like, wired the rest of the flight, and that'll be worse. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bad. I'll usually, like, go to... I try to go to the airport really early, and I'll go to an airport bar and... Try to have a few and then get on the plane and just can't wait till we get up to 10,000. There's like service and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still, I really enjoy, I was talking to Mary uh, on Tuesday about, I went from hating airports to weirdly kind of like 
now that I know, like, I'm in, I have a routine and I know how to navigate airports, like, efficiently, I actually really like airport bars because mm -hmm. if you're at one, you could be alone, no one bothers you. Like, on, most of the time, you have an excuse not to be on Slack or uh, looking at emails. Or maybe if you have your Switch, you could just sit at the bar and hang out. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm very much an er get to the airport early kind of person. Me um, too. Now I kind of like find airports oddly calming. If I'm there early enough, yeah. And like getting TSA pre-check was a huge help for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. This. I remember this being a pretty cool one. The forest temple? Yeah. I like it. I like what? the conceit of finding the four sisters. Yeah, yeah. Pretty involved, if I remember right. What'd you say? I, I remember it, it's pretty involved, right? Yeah. This music. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... Like, birds crossed with a flute, crossed with some weird woodwind forest instrument. Very good. Yeah. Don't like this. Stay away. Jesus, he, he turned left. Yeah. Oh yeah, shield first, right? This room always confused me. Oh wait, not this room. Never mind. I have a favorite temp new favorite temple every time I play the game. Growing up, the Shadow Temple was my favorite, but because of the tone and the aesthetic. Not the temple itself, which, now that I play it when I'm older, is actually kind of, like, not a great dungeon. I don't remember a lot about it. I remember not enjoying it that much, so I'm curious how I feel about it now. Yeah, design like, level design-wise, it's very straightforward and kind of boring. I just well, why like don't the... you make a dungeon? <laughs> No, seriously, why don't you make a dungeon? No, go ahead. I'll wait. You think he's Oh, in? yeah? If you like the spirit temple so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> no, quit the mission. Just goes from the mo the cockiest dude to the most insecure individual in the world in the span of a millisecond. Immediately. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm a water temple apologist. I don't hate it as much as a lot of people. It's, it's probably my least favorite, but I don't yeah. dread it, really. It's Especially built to version. confuse you in a way that is, like, just feels cheap. Uh, but I do like the atmosphere. Yeah. And the music's really good there, too. I think I remember liking the boss, too. Oh, yeah, it's Shadow Wing. Yeah. Well, that's the mini boss. That's right, and then there's the like hook shot, swimmy thing. Morpha. Right. That one's fun, kind of. I remember liking that. God, hmm? Rudo though. Princess R Rudo. Oh, and Jabu Jabu, yeah, that was a giant pain in the ass. Well, she's the the sage of the water temple too. Right. She's like, right. oh, we're married now. You're er, you're engaged. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Song of Storms is my favorite song. I like the um, Nocturne of Shadow as well. Yeah. Uh, what happened? What? Did you see the walls? Oh! Weird. This is new. Yeah. Interesting update. Yeah, yeah. It's HD. Are they there, or can you... I think they're maybe, there. Yeah, maybe, maybe the door will... Going through the door will... <laughs> Alright. I don't know why, when I was a kid, it always reminded me of Oasis. Like, the band. I don't understand that at all. Uh, my oldest brother was an Oasis super fan. And... That's the only connection I can think of. <laughs> bah! I love how the enemies are all frozen when you first walk in. Yeah. With the, yeah. During the door. It's like a Mega Man jumping through a door. Yeah. Or, um. Well, Resident Evil's different. Resident Evil, it's like the door is an actual, like, cutscene. Yeah. 
I know it like increases the uh, the tension and stuff, but I wish uh, like in one of the million re-releases of the Resident Evil games you could just not deal with that. Yeah. Stealth, um, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Forgot you don't have to do bombs in this one. In this version of the game, they took that out. Uh, or is that just this this room? In Link to the Past, I knew you had to do that. You had to bomb them to kill them. Well, in the original in the original Ocarina, you had to just kill the second one quickly enough that the other one wouldn't resurrect. Uh, maybe okay. that hap maybe that happens later. Actually, I think that does happen in the room where you get the bow. Gotcha. And I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not I I'm not trying to ruin anything. I it just rang a bell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, their shields did look cool. They're like. Let me switch this out so I don't accidentally free it. Uh, we'll put, uh, how about, uh, put some uh, nuts up there. There we go. Aquanoggin has not seen MacGruber. Oh boy. Well, forget Ocarina. Who's Aquanagan? Uh, he, I watched him, uh, he's in the chat here, uh, I watched him play my Mario Maker level a bunch one time, and it was very funny. Yeah. But he's not seen Gruber. Well, that's stupid. It is. Dumb thing. wonder if next time, if we want to go back to Over the Top and just watch it and like, Intermission breaks if uh, if I can skip time on it on the watch party I might go straight to the montage of him and his son doing push-ups. I need to see it cuz I didn't see any of that It sounded yeah, great. At some, at some point this the son's other sleeve came off <laughs> He's just wearing like this dress blues vest <laughs> Oh, that's the opening Shot is real good for them. I love when you get the bow and it like actually launches them with the arrow into the yeah. wall. Yeah. Okay, so there's a key door. Left. It's to the right. Can I not get there yet? No. Okay. I see what's going on. Come out with Zelda Dungeon Maker. I mean, they've done several. I mean, they add, they tried adding something like that to Wind Wait or sorry, uh, Link's Awakening, and it was just bad. It boring. sucked. It was real bad. But like a full game, Zelda yeah, like, Maker. Like done right, it could be awesome. Yeah. I saw there was a Mario 64 Maker mod that came out recently. I Let's noticed that as well. I forgot who that was, or what. I wonder what, what program that was in. What, um, what's your familiarity with Mario 64? I, I like it a lot. I played oh. it not as much as Ocarina, but in terms of N64, probably second most. Gotcha. Uh, GoldenEye Perfect Dark were probably second. Mario 64 was a close third. Oh, yeah. I only ever beat Mario 64 like three times, but I, I always got pretty far into it before I stopped. I beat it a whole bunch, but, um,. I only got the 120 stars once, and that was during the Guinness World Records stream. Yeah, I did that, I think, once as well with my brother. It's good. It's fun. Yeah. Hello, Willhouse. There's so many uh, levels in that game that I forgot about, and I was watching, like, a montage recently. Like, um... I mean, I didn't forget about it, but I just... The, the world where it depends on how high in the painting that you jump. Oh, it's right. The, the, it's, the, it's the water world. Um, it's later on. Then there's the Mushroom Mountain or something. And then there's the one where you can be a giant or tiny. Yeah, the, the big huge island thing. I love that. Or tiny yeah. huge island. Then there's yeah. that basement dungeon. Uh, basement. What was that? How'd that work? Like um, the cave? 
Yeah, and it had it had it was one of the ones with the wall jumps, the zigzag back and forth wall jumps. Was it Hazy Maze Cave? It had a lot of like red scaffolding. Huh. Hazy Maze sounds familiar. Like construction pipes. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could use the compass because I'm having trouble knowing exactly what angle I'm coming from here. No. That's such a dumb hint. It's, she's giving you a hint to the, go get a game hint. game mechanic? Yeah. Boy, did you watch that Treehouse stream today? No, I heard it was underwhelming, though. Oh my god. Waiting for the, uh, the new, the new entry in a series, and then it was Bakugo Super Fighters or some, something. I had no idea what the hell it was. What, what were you hoping it would be? Just anything? Way forward, doing something cool. Like, uh -huh. you know, I saw, like, Wario Land was trending last night or something. I was like, ooh, is that being rumored? And, like, I didn't actually, like, look into it, but I was just like, oh, man. I, I was expecting something on, like, that level. Um, and then it was like, what the fuck is this? I've never played a WarioWare. What? We talked about this on a Beastcast, I thought. I've never touched a WarioWare. Like, I've never played a second of a WarioWare game. Have you watched a second of it? Barely. Like, uh, for GameSpot, I, like, I, again, we talked about it in, like, the lobby when I hosted it, but that's about it. Mike. Mike, if it wasn't for the punch-out thing. Oh, <laughs> boy. We could add that to the list. Oh. Punch-out with what? Punch-out I could do in, what, like, a, a few streams, maybe? If you're talking about beating Tyson, how good are your reflexes? You tell me. Holy shit. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Uh, they're Almost not crashed that. the stream I mean, there. I... I consider myself good at those kind of games. Maybe with the pressure of a stream, it'd be different. I, uh... I've, never, I've never touched. I don't even. I I know that WarioWare is like a collection of weird games. That's about it. That's the way it should stay. Don't look at a second of WarioWare. Your reward for defeating Mike Tyson will be you right. get to. I get to be your WarioWare coach after that. Jeez, that sounds amazing. You would love it. I'm tempted to ask why, but I yeah, I guess I'll go in fresh. It's I can just already picture you reacting to this game and you will definitely love it. I, I will say with confidence that I think you'll love Punch Out and WarioWare. I know a lot about I mean I've seen a lot of Punch Out, but like yeah, WarioWare is just like at first blush, like at seeing footage, like I don't know, it doesn't seem interesting to me. WarioWare? Oh no, no, no. It's you gotta play it to experience it. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can uh, work with you on, on getting your stuff set up if you want to stream that on your channel. Yeah, I need to. What are the pose names? Beth, Amy, Joe, and... I definitely don't remember that. Or it's Beth, Amy, Joe... Where does it say that? I just remembered it. But where did it, you like, see it? It says it in the... Um, on the bottom of the painting frame. The, the frame, oh, I think. Okay. It's not Meg, is it? Do it. Do the thing. Huh. Oh my god. Just do it. Just do the thing. Very Duff, thank you and hello. Come on. Do it. Damn it. Oh shit. Yeah. 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 Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. 
Okay. Whew. Bow and arrow. Yeah, there are people that like just skip the forest temple and go straight to fire when you have the hook shot. Or water. Wait. Yeah, water, because you don't You don't need the Megaton hammer in the water temple. Where do you get that? Is that the, that's a fire dungeon? Yeah. You don't need the bow in the fire temple, I know that. No. You can hook shot the dragon, right? Yeah, that's what I do anyway, I think. It's the right way? No. This or no, no, you use the Megaton hammer on Volvagia anyway, when he pops out of the hole. That's right, the whack-a-mole thing. Yeah. Okay, so shoot the paintings. Ooh, that's a good part. Volvagia have the most sexual name of any Zelda boss. Uh, yeah. Morpha, no. Bongo Bongo. Oh yeah. That's like that's like immaturely sexual. Like yeah, yeah. Check out those Bongo Bongos. Like they did the Bongo Bongo. Uh, Kumin Kotake, no. Ganondorf. That's the least. Yeah, Dorf. <laughs> why is Dor why are you pushing the sexuality of Dorf so much? Dorf sounds vaguely sexual. What's Twilight? Man, Twilight Princess had some great bosses. The fucking yeah. the Arbiter's Ground boss where you're using the spinner. Yes, that's that maybe awesome. my favorite. That's just a giant Stalfos, right? Uh, yeah, like yeah, like, like, like in the whirlpool. Yeah. Yeah. Ook is the monkey boss. Right. Dangoro is the Goron. Oh, there is a Dark Nuts boss? Ooh. Dark Hammer was a cool boss. Death Sword. Arbiter's Grounds with Death Sword. Death Sword? Wait, what? He looks different now, but... Oh, he's a mini boss. Whoops, hold on. Oh, I was looking at mini bosses. Okay. I was gonna say none of these seem familiar. <laughs> Who are the witches? In this Kumin one? Kumiko Take. Oh right, right. I mean, I might be mispronouncing. I always said Kumiko Take. Oh yeah. That's such a good fucking boss fight. Yes. That one oh with the reflection stuff? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And then they combine and you have to charge yeah. up the shield with three of the same element. Love it. Um Dark Beast Ganon was a cool boss in Twilight Princess when he ch he's like a bull. Oh, yeah, yeah. Twilight Fossil. Oh, Stout Stal Lord is the Arbor's Grounds. Okay, yeah. Morpheal is the Lake Bed Temple. That, t that was a good water temple when you like move all those like ramps. In Twilight? Yeah. You I jump up that. and like pull those levers down, and then it there's a central room where there's like waterfalls, and you move these like ramps to try like to redirect the flow. That's right. That sounds familiar. Shit. Wind, wind Waker bosses. The the dragon's really cool on uh, Dragon That's, Roost Island. Dragon Roost might be my favorite Zelda song in any game. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, 
Goma. The name of the dragon in Dragon Roost Cavern is Goma. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Tower of the Gods is Godan. Godan. Oh, I thought you said Gonad. <laughs> it's really close. You know what? I've always heard that word, and it's a very funny word. I know it's vaguely testicular in nature. No idea what a gonad is, though. I don't think it's vague. Is it just your balls? I could have... Oh, man. It's... I don't know. Oh, there we go. Dr. Mahardy stumped. No, no, no. I'm just saying I know it's closely related. <laughs> yeah, it's Nards adjacent. What's the difference between a gonad and a testicle? Could be the same thing. Could be the same thing as a nerd. Oh. <laughs> oh, God! The Wikipedia image is just a gonad <laughs> on a table. What the fuck? You just Wikipedia gonad? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody go to the Wikipedia gonad page. It looks like flank steak. <laughs> oh, no. No, thank you. Okay, it's the mixed gland that produces the gametes. And sex hormones of organism. Organism. Ugh. I just said organism. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bunch of medical professionals here. Yeah, exactly. Vietnam. <laughs> Gonads. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodiles. Oh yeah. Oh, so the testicle is the male gonad, but gonads are not specifically. Ah. Uh... Well, testicles are just your scrotum, right? They're inside the ball, the, the ball part, the, the nards themselves. Yeah. And the gonad is... So the testicle is a gonad, but a gonad is not necessarily a testicle. Oh, I don't know if I believe this one bit. That's what Wikipedia is telling me. I don't think they know what they're talking about. Has anybody gone to Wikipedia? I'm not encouraging it, but does anybody else see that image it just shows you? I don't want to look at that. I have it's... literally zero interest in that. It's bad. <laughs> and yeah, I was on Wikipedia, so you know it's real. Dude, I'll be 76 and still laughing at farts and the word gonads. Yes, as you should. If you don't, you're dead. And I don't know what else. Like, well, people getting hit in the gonads. <laughs> people tripping. Oh yeah. As long as they're not getting seriously hurt, let's make right. sure that first before we laugh. I right. always make sure they're not hurt before I laugh. Of course. Spiritual successor to dancers. That'd be a good show we could do. Things where we, we <laughs> that'd be a good show when we we like we talk we figure out like the the things that we should know that are obvious, but we're too embarrassed to admit we don't know. Like dancers was very like um, big picture stuff that you wanted to educate yourself on. I feel like we could do something where it's like <sighs> I don't know. What's a Dan thing that I don't know? I mean, I don't think there are any any things I'm embarrassed to not know. Right, the, the average normal person would be embarrassed right. not to know. Yeah, like, we're going to figure stuff out for people. Um... Well, now I'm stumped, like... Well, there's, like, the wolf thing. What about that? Like, how big is a wolf? Yeah. Yeah, that And you good. wanting to fight one. Or I guess that was me. Yeah. You were going to fight a T-Rex. I said it the other day on Twitter, unrelated, not knowing you had said you could fight a wolf, too. I think I saw people responding to that, yeah. I don't know where to get this fucking key. <laughs> yeah, like, how has mayo become a thing? I know there's eggs involved. But... Here, let me, let me, I'll try to guess. Eggs? Okay, I'm going to go with eggs since you said that. I don't know for the record. I bet you put eggs uh, and you uh, culture it, I don't know what that means, with a bunch of butter um, and you whip it up with a whisker and um, 
Uh, and I'm out of I'm out of cooking words. So I'm seeing the our eggs dairy thing uh, always be clothing. That was a giant bomb thing, and I saw giant bomb audience is very intelligent most of the time, but a lot of them were saying eggs are dairy, and that was when I knew I was like, hey, someone who's been paying attention to protein for a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> That's the goofiest thing I've said in a long time. <laughs> As someone who pays a lot of attention to protein, hearing that eggs were dairy was uh, making me. Uh, I really wanted to correct the giant bomb audience. But it um, is in that section of the grocery store often. Because it's refrigerated and it's just near the dairy. Wow, you can't fault people for that. And it's perishable. So what makes something dairy? It comes from milk. Well, don't a lot of things come from milk? Yeah, but not eggs. You don't? Okay, no, that's definitely true. They don't make eggs. Oh! There was something I thought while playing The Last of Us tonight um, that was so dumb, I had to pause the game and walk to the other room and tell Bonk about it. But I don't think there's wait, a way... Wait, wait, before, before you tell me what it was, what was her reaction? She put her head in her hands. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a, that's okay. That's what I wanted to know. What did you say? And Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, where'd the gameplay go? It just hard crashed. Uh-oh. Yes. Okay. Now yeah, we're on to something. Oh yeah, she's happy. I wasn't joking. She does like to be held. She just like gets antsy. But she'll come into the kitchen when I'm cooking and like do that trill that kittens do. And like ask, and then I pick her up and she kind of just like falls asleep. It's very cute. The other one has way too much energy to be, to fall asleep. She's also wonderful. In the morning she wakes me up. She. Uh, it's called bunting when cats like kind of nudge you with their forehead. That's what she does. Bunting? Yeah, I found that out recently. Uh. Hey, she just fell off. Are you okay? We are on the right track now with this dungeon. They're both having freakouts. But yes, <laughs> I'm tempted to get another cat. Maybe Three? two. Uh. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to go out and get another cat, but if someone's like, hey, I have this cat that n no one's adopting, but yeah, sure. You're, you're going to quickly turn into an old cat lady as a 20-something-year-old man. I would... I don't give a fuck. I get how that happens now. <laughs> yeah, we got two dogs, and if we had more space, I could definitely see us getting a third. Yeah. Oh, actually, did you know that the whole quote-unquote crazy cat lady is actually... Um, like, I, part of that is rooted in the thing that uh, cats, you can get from cat, uh, fuck, I, I, let me look this up, because I don't want to fuck this up. It's actually true and crazy. Uh, people have probably heard that, like, if cats sleep in your bed, you can get that, um, it affects your, like, neurons and stuff. It's very rare, like, toxo, that's what it's called. Um, what? Okay, there's research to suggest that a cat's proximity to other mammals can cause them to behave. Toxoplasma gondi. Gandhi. Toxo. What's it do? Research shows that it is... There's a theory that it, it travels into prey's brains to cause them to, like, uh, be attracted to cats so they can get hunted. It like it stops them from going into like cats' hunting grounds. Or sorry, sorry. It stops them from being afraid to go into cats' hunting grounds. Thus, the cats can just fuck them up. And that apparently, like there are theories that it can affect human brains too. So humans become obsessed with cats. Hence, crazy cat ladies. It's like a magic spell that makes you love. It sounds like some Harry Potter crap. I'm reading now. I I forgot what I read, but. And it's often conveyed through, like, the li the litter. Poop. Wait, so do you have to, like, eat cat poop to <laughs> like cats more? No! It, it can be, like, airborne or on your hand after... Oh, okay. How often are you touching cat poop? I don't. Like, I'm just, like, sometimes... I can't handle where all these germs go. I wash my hands a lot. 
It's like urine. It's everywhere. Not really. Not my urine. Are you not? A, you're not an office guy, are you? Uh, I've seen the first several seasons. I've seen all the British one. I always feel like a snob when people ask about The Office because I love the British one and I've seen it's it several fun. times, but I've only seen really like good. a few seasons of the American. How you unlock new dungeons in Banjo <laughs> with the pu with the puzzles? Oh fuck, you don't! I gotta get you on that last ten jiggy some point. Part. Oh yeah, yeah. There is nothing I've ever hated more in a Zelda game than uh, in Wind Waker when it had all those like puzzle things, you know, the slidey puzzles. Because I just yeah. I'm convinced it's impossible. It's like the absolutely ice... impossible. The ice cavern has a couple of those here. I just don't think they make any goddamn sense. The ice cavern has to be the coolest, like, interlude between dungeons in this game. Oh, that tiny uh, one? Yeah, that's fun. The... I mean, bottom of the well, again, it's creepy as fuck. It's pretty cool, though. Hate <laughs> hey, waiting. Nerd, yes, uh, there are some sketches on that show that I find very funny. I'm gonna have to go back and get. There's a treasure chest back there that I didn't get. Cool, this one's just crying because all of her friends are dead again. Oh yeah, I forgot the fourth one's back. Yeah. Know the tell? Oh, does it spin first? It's the only one that spins, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that until now. It's like a good Mario Party mini game. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The one where the booze are all surrounding you. I 
just hit start to save. I might cut all of the uh, catching up from the freeze stuff out of the YouTube version. So if you're watching the YouTube version and we're referring to freezes and stuff, just know there's a chance I might have cut that out. So. Also know that I said some uh, really intelligent and insightful stuff during those backtracking. Oh, that'll stages. be in the supercut, yeah. All right, this weird room. Skid marks on the ground in this version. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very detailed. Where is that skull Tola? I hear ya. Dance City, that's one of my favorite, uh, favorite dungeons in that game. Snow Peak Ruins. Yeah. I like the Arbor's Grounds. Yeah. That actually might be my favorite fire... Actually, I like Ocarina's Fire Temple a lot, but Goron Mines are in that game are really good. Getting into those grooves uh, with the uh, spinny top thing is great. Yeah. The Goron Mines in uh, Twilight, the item there was the Iron Boots. However, they're more about, uh, like, magnets. Yeah, yeah, going up, upside down. It's like a weird yeah. ratchet and clank thing. Yeah, the Arbiter's Ground was the desert, and you fight fight the Stalord. You, like, you, you shot the spinner into his spine to take out the individual vertebrae. Yeah, so cool. The, 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 oh, when you get the double hook shot, the dual wielding in for the... Um, City in the clouds or whatever it's called. City in the yes. sky. In the yeah, dragon boss. Too. Yeah, uh, you, you climb up, you shoot up those pillars and then you shoot onto his tail. Yes, that's incredible. That's really good. There's also a city in the sky in Star Fox Adventures, which I am a uh, apologist for that game. That has been on my list of games to potentially stream sometime. Have you played it before? No. Oh, uh, most people hate it. I, I, okay, I haven't played it in a good 12 years, but I, my brothers and I like, no, that was a game I got for Christmas and I was like young and like it was a video game so I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to figure out how to like this game. Right, yeah. And I just played it so much. I'm like, I... I'm, I'm very afraid to see what I think of it now. I'm curious. I'm definitely not uh, committing to play that game a ton, but I, I would look I... at it one night on a stream. It has one of the most gorgeous, um, like, tropical beach areas. I remember when I was young, I was like, this is fucking breathtaking. When I would see the screenshots of that game in magazines, I remember thinking that, like, the fur on Star Fox's face was so realistic looking. It was crazy. Um, uh, it was called Cape something. Cape Claw. It's fucking gorgeous. When Grand Prix said he wrote a walkthrough of uh, Star Fox Adventures. Well, he'd be helpful in the uh, in the stream if we do that. God, Cape Claw was fucking gorgeous. It had one of the most annoying, like, demanding um, tap a button quickly things. Yeah. I, I actually mentioned it during Banjo because I was playing in a Cloud Cuckoo Land and you had to press a button pretty quick there. We had a problem with that in Resident Evil 4 on the Steam version when Abby was playing. And... Uh, 
it was really, really difficult. And it was at the end of a long, like, minecart thing. Yes. I remember that as well. But you go to, like, the moon at one point. Or you get moon crystals. What was it? Like, moon shards that fall, fell from Star the sky. Box? I don't know. Yeah. Like the Earth's moon? Not the Earth's moon, because all the plant the planet is like a dinosaur planet, and there's like moon rocks that fell from the sky, and you have to collect them at one point. Hmm. It is a weird knockoff Zelda, but I had fond memories of it. Yeah, I would try it sometime. All right, here's maybe one of my favorite boss, definitely one of my favorite boss fights in this game. It's really good. I just fucking love that painting. Yeah. It'd be cool to get, like, a full version of this, like, in your house. Swing! <laughs> what if you were just on that when it <laughs> just shot up Link's asshole? Yeah. End of the series. Ah! It's not really him. It's not really him. I always, I was always like, that's kind of a bold move to make the, fir the boss of the first dungeon, like... Ganondorf, but not. It's, like, so it's very cool. confusing. I think it's good so way. cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool. But like, it was very... Huh. It's, it's a Weird bold choice. It sets up. Ooh, it looks really good here. Oh, oh. It's gonna be you. It's gonna be you, for real. Get out of here. It's like claustrophobic. Yeah. I don't I don't remember if I know what the tell is on. Uh one of them turns back around. Yeah, but like toward the end, like they take a while. I don't know. I also shoot them earlier than you do, I think. Oh yeah. Oh hi. Oh, yeah. I like the callback when you actually fight Ganondorf. He does similar shit. It's so good. It's like his clone was like uh, programmed to be like him. And also, I love the idea that like he didn't, he wasn't that afraid of you yet, and he didn't want to actually go himself. Yeah, yeah. I know that's not how the bosses work. They're like stored away in the temple, but still, it's like, yeah, he didn't, he didn't want to waste the time. Yeah. Because you're still that kid from seven years ago. Yeah, like, you're a nuisance. He wants to take care of you, but he's not going to, like, show up himself. But people in chat were like, yeah, if I if this dude got one medallion and I was Gandor, like, okay, let's go fucking put a stop to this shit. <laughs> Come on, dude. Wow. Swank. Shank. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's the mod I want. <laughs> every time, every time Link swings his sword. <laughs> that effect is super cool. Yeah, every time you swing the sword, it's MacGruber grunting, and every time you hit someone, it's the wow. <laughs> wow! Ah, oh, fuck! Come on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that Psycho Crusher thing he does. Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Wow! <laughs> I shot. <laughs> I fucking shoot. I fucking shot. I'm 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 gonna go now. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go Just immediately. <laughs> he just grabs his clothes. Doesn't even put all his clothes on. He just grabs them. It's right after she says that was amazing. He's like, I have to go. <laughs> And then he just drives to the graveyard immediately. <laughs> In the middle of the night. Uh, out of her weirdly huge colonial, like, uh, suburban house. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that part. Upon victory. Wrestle House, go get your Taco Bell. God knows it took long enough. Oh, Akinogan. Get on it. Oh, Whataburger. Wrestle House, yeah.
Mike, have you had Whataburger? No, I had a friend from Texas who always talked about it. It's incredible. How does it rank against like uh, In N Out or Shake Shack? Better than both. I rank a lot of things above In N Out. Uh, Shake Shack is way up there, but Whataburger is better, I think. I was pretty unimpressed. Uh, the burger at In N Out was good. The fries that I tried quickly. I got. I can't eat fries really. They were. They didn't really knock. They didn't In N really Out is wildly me. overrated. It's just the best California has. California doesn't. Uh, I don't like California food. <laughs> I miss I miss uh, California. Uh, San Francisco had amazing Indian food. Like all the Indian food I got there was amazing. Whereas here, it's you can find really good Indian food, but it's not like every fucking place. Um, seafood here is good. Sushi here is obviously amazing in New York. However, seafood in general in San Francisco, I had better luck with. Um, but. I lived in Japantown, so like ramen. Again, you could find all this in New York. It's just it was San Francisco. I lived right near like ramen and um, shabu shabu place. Oh yeah. By the way, this is the thing I was talking about that I was yeah the weird thing. Yeah, shabu shabu was amazing in San Francisco. Oh god, it's so good to be done with that. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen with the fire. I mean, if it does even once, I'll probably just turn off the texture pack. It'll still look really good, and I think that'll save us. That'll be my rule with dungeons going forward. If I get one freeze or crash, I'll just turn it off. Russell House, I won't. Hey. Yes, yeah, submit. Sarkar was just saying he just watched Palm Springs and it was really good. Cool. Yeah, I'm. Maybe I'll watch that tomorrow. Hey Siri, remind me to watch Palm Springs tomorrow. Do a save. Have you seen, have you seen sleeping with other people? No. Have we talked about this? I don't think so. What is it? Well, I mean, what it is is my favorite rom-com. Very, very overlooked, underrated uh, movie because it's a romantic comedy. However, I find it extremely funny and actually like well written. Uh, it's Jason Sudeikis and uh, Allison Brie. Um, I like them. Uh, what's his name? Jason. Uh, I think very long. He played. Um, he's on a lot of comedy bang bang stuff. He does that Manzukas? podcast with the, how that terrible movie get what? Manzu Manzukas. Manzukas. Yeah, he's in yeah. it. Um, it's just very good. But I'm trying to. Th I, I swear by that movie. I love it. Um, maybe if you're if you're looking for something to watch at some point, watch Sleeping with Other People. It's very it's a funny movie. It's very well written. It's uh, it's just a good movie. I don't know. Is it on streaming? Yeah. What did I watch it on? I think I watched it on Amazon huh. Prime. Uh, hey, real quick. Um, do you know? Can I go back to being a kid now? I want to get Epina. I think you can at any point. I mean, that's not true. Uh, I think you can now. Okay, do I just go back to the Temple of Time? Yeah, you just press A and then shove the sword back in. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to head out. All right. But I appreciate you having me. Of course. Um, I want to watch the rest of Over the Top at some point. Uh, yeah. If you want to go ahead, go ahead. But um, Advent Oblivion, enjoy Warframe. Uh, Inaro's Prime is coming soon. Steel Path. Hard when mode. do you want uh, to uh, watch over the top? I don't know. Sunday, I have a, some stuff going on. Tomorrow. Maybe better for a weekend night, like we're going to stay up. 
Yeah. I don't know. Let's talk about it off stream. Um, this week was, uh, last two weeks have been long for a lot of people, I'm sure. But the last two weeks, I've really felt it. No, oh, yeah. Um, so any chance I get, I'm just trying to relax. Not that this isn't relaxing. This is always super fun, but it's still like, you know, I don't know. Um, but thanks for having me. Of course. I always have fun. Over the top seems fucking amazing. Yeah, we'll have to do Minus that Minus that stupid fucking kid. Oh, here you go. I guess this is when you're supposed to come back. Hmm. But uh, will it fuck anything up if I just leave? Shouldn't. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, chat, bye. Dan, bye. I'll talk to you soon, I'm sure. I'll see ya. Have fun. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. All right, so I'm just going to end that Discord call. Get that out of here. And I can get rid of that and I can do some of that and let's stretch out this how about that you got a heart there excellent me and you chat how you guys doing take that off okay okay we're all looking good here excellent yeah sorry about all the stuff with the save or the crashes that drove me nuts um i will definitely use the paperclip trick uh in the future and if we do need to turn the thing off permanently we will because i don't want to stop this uh playthrough on account of that we'll make through it getting on a plane in four hours no earthly clue oh boy Effective from 11 until 7. Boy, I think it was a bust. I don't see much evidence of it coming this way. Oh, I've got so much acid reflux later. Later, lately. Can't we talk? Yeah, I've heard that was, uh, there was that really good storm in Minneapolis uh, a week or two ago, that one night. It's a Sunday night. When I was there, it was great. Try Carson. Alright, let's go get Epina. By the way, um, I wanted to thank everyone. I know I thank everyone for the support a lot on the stream, but I mean it. Uh, I'm always trying to upgrade just the whole gaming system I got going on here in my studio. Uh, and so I know this probably won't directly affect the stream as much as other things, but I just got, uh, or it's going to be here on the 15th. I got the Elite Series 2 controller, and also I got a new laptop uh, that'll be here in a couple weeks. Got the new HP NV X360. I read a couple reviews of it and it sounds like a really solid laptop. My current one's like four or five years old and can't do a whole lot. So it'll help a ton with, um, hopefully, even once I get back on the road, maybe I'll be able to stream some stuff, uh, some like retro stuff. Um, I've heard of, you know, like some current games, like I've read that it can run Overwatch at 1080p at like 63 frames a second. Um, so I might be able to do some, some streaming from the road or if I go home for the holidays or on vacation or something. Um, yeah. So, uh, thank you all for your support. I love doing anything I can do to throw it back into the stream. Uh, so yeah. Let's get a horse. Rogue Legacy 2? Totally. Absolutely. Whatever. 
noisy one. It is. It's a laptop bot with fart noises. Yes. I will think of your farts every time I open that laptop. And you're super hot. Go to Tsushima. Uh, Miss Mr. Big Ball six six six. I am not really. I was not looking for a gaming laptop. I was looking for one, you know, ma mainly that could run just like Streamlabs and stuff. If I could travel with like an Elgato on my computer, um, it's definitely. I'm looking more for like good portability, and you know, it'll be good for editing, uh, painting the screen on, and recording it on. Um, it'll just be better overall for that stuff. It is a non-gaming thing. Specifically. Thank you, John. The Master BS, that is a highly underappreciated line. Um, it's Romus, thank you for subscribing. Hmm. Back when it's light out. What do I do? Boy, Paper Mario, enthusiasm is uh going down quite a bit ah big daddy code asking about my current uh setup so i've got a good desktop pc that i play all the games on. and i bought uh early on in the streaming career i bought a program monitor uh so i've got all my like obs stuff over here program monitor i see the chat over here uh i've got the game up where i'm looking right now on the big screen tv um, so it's all done through one computer. Um, I have my laptop here that I'm replacing, and that just kind of, um, I use that like I've got a chat window up there. Nothing, uh, nothing much going on there, really. So. I'm so excited about the, uh, what do you call it, the Elite Series 2 controller. Hmm. Paper Mario Interest. I watched that, uh, stream. And I read some like preview uh, impressions, and it's just like it's all the stuff I hated about the last few, where it's like, why would I ever do a battle if you're not getting XP? I just don't like, yeah, you get coins or whatever, but like, why the fuck would I ever do anything but avoid all the battles? Like, I don't know. I'll try it. I'll do it at least for one stream. I'll do like one dedicated longer uh, Paper Mario stream probably, but and I, and I hope to be wrong. I hope to like it, but I don't know. Like, you don't level up. Okay. You? It's a fun game. Sure. Is that a bottle too? Hell yeah. Do I have three bottles already? Eleven Bonk played that. Uh, she enjoyed it a lot until like later in the game, and she was like, uh, "This never gets challenging." And she wanted it to be a lot harder. Yeah, I'll still try it out. I, I hope I'm right, or I hope I'm wrong. Sorry. McDonald's? Fair friend, do that.
thought you had to show her the ocarina. Jay Dukes, they need to put out that Mario thing. I want that. Yeah, Sister Sir, that uh, Bud Light Seltzer is excellent. I might be switching that to that tonight uh, after I'm done with this gin and tonic. Hey, Epina! Baby Epina, how's it going? Alright, well, see you in seven years. Wait, I can do... Can I just play them straight from the screen? Oh, I can just do it here, okay. Forty-nine? I am with ya. That fucker gun thing. I am as hell. They haven't shown anything from Zelda yet that wasn't that initial reveal trailer, right? Time for a fart would be when you either put in or take out the sword. That'd be good. <laughs> Reverb fart in the temple. Yeah, Carson, you get it. You get it. You know. Dan, I never, uh, never thought about the Outer Wilds being like a new Metroid Prime. You said that, but I can kind of see that, yeah. Like a high concept Metroid Prime. Never knew it was actually sped me up, but I always did it. Outer Wilds. It's my favorite game of last year, and one of the coolest games I've ever played in my life. Unbelievable. Unbelievable game. It's not for everyone. Bonk. Uh, couldn't get into it, really. Um, my god, I love it. That's the fastest way to get around. Ah. Oh, not really. That makes sense. Yelix, you haven't? Dude, it is, you know, it, it's kind of a cliche to say like, oh, I wish I could wipe my memory and, and play that game again for the first time. It's never applied more than to Outer Wilds for reasons of just like, you can't do it again. You know, like it, it's all based on like your knowledge and like, I know how the game works and how to get to the end and like, I can't relive it. And I, I'm envious of anyone who could do that. Rob's VR, that'd be cool. Yes, I do. Sure. I don't... I know how to ride. Carrots. I got it. Auto jump.
empanada. There we go. This is my first. Oh man, Virtual Branson. That discussion we had on Outer Wilds for Game of the Year drove me nuts. No, that's on, uh, that's on phone, right? I cannot imagine playing Tetris on phone. Yeah, K-Pops. Very good. Use. HQ Trivia but Tetris sounds amazing. Actually, Bonk could probably win a bunch of money if that's the case. Except for it's on a phone. Is there any way to play with the controller? You know what? I'll... I'll download it. That's a, that's a smart idea. I'll just get over my phone. I just don't play any games on a phone. I just... Honestly, I can't remember the last time I played a phone game. A couple of years? Tetris Prime Time? Is that what it's called? What's it called? Oh, yeah, I just searched for Tetris Prime Time, didn't see it. If someone knows the name of the game, let me know again. I'd love to download it. It's just the Tetris app. Oh, and then they do a thing called Prime Time. I see. Oh, okay, cash prize tournaments. Okay. Yeah, that sounds awesome, honestly. I'm pretty good at Tetris. Bonk is ludicrous. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the uh, reminder. Here, we go. now we're talking. HQ, yeah. Um, I want to listen to this podcast about kind of the history of HQ and its downfall. Uh, I haven't started it yet. I'm trying to talk about it in Minneapolis. Where's the carrots? Close down on the box. You guys can't see it. What's everyone's strategy with carrots? I would always uh, kind of go down to one, put a recharge bit, and then do it again. Keep one. Okay. I won many hundreds of dollars from HQ. Uh, not as much from HQ. I got a little bit from HQ. What was the stupid one I played all the time with the really annoying host? Cash? Cash game? I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, there was like a couple months there where I was like at several different of those apps and I played a lot of them. Jomo, that is pretty Yakuza animation. That's a really good battle cry. Oh 
no. What will I do? First of all, I think there's a heart piece down here. Yes, this is her. I agree. Can I get off this horse, please? Oh, wait. It's not gonna let me because it wants me to. It's me again. Remember Epida? Oh, Russellos, that's a uh, that's unfortunate. I hope it is still great. Jumped over the back wall? What? I've never done that. Oh, this one back here? Are you kidding me? I gotta try it. Ooh, Circle of the Moon 2 is really good, says EX Shuffle. Yeah, I want to stream that ASAP. Like, maybe, uh, maybe by this time tomorrow, um, I would just really like to play that game. Good choice. This is her. Thank you. Give some subs. Here's the thing. I really want to do Circle of the Moon. And you know what? That's not so high profile where it's like, you guys know that I don't really like uh, doing surprise streams out of nowhere of bigger things. Like, I wouldn't want to be like, oh, I guess on a spur of the moment I'll do uh, a Zelda stream tonight. I, I don't do that. But Circle of the Moon is pretty specific. I could see a world in which maybe I stream some of that tonight. Would people be into that? I don't know. I mean, I can keep playing. I, I'm, I can keep playing tonight. Anything. I like playing games. I'm not tired. It's Friday night. I would do Circle the Moon tonight. Um, or you keep playing this? <laughs> Get some seltzers. Bud Light Seltzer and Circle the Moon? Or Curse the Moon? Which one's the, the first Game Boy Advance one? That's Circle the Moon. This is Curse the Moon. No earthly clue. I could use some more Bud Light stuff. I really put them over last time. I think they owe me. Owe me. <laughs> some jackass with a few hundred people on Twitch. I want free stuff, Bud Light. That's how I tweet them. I tweet them an audio clip of me talking like that. <laughs> Curse the Moon 1 is not required for 2, no. I already downloaded it. Isn't it, uh, back left I need to... Why can't I wrap my head around the physics of this? And you know, that's kind of a fun late night game. Some, uh, some Circle of the Moon, Curse of the Moon. Jerk nuts, thank you for spending that $25 on your daughter's birthday balloons over string, Bud Light string lights for me. I appreciate the thought, but uh, if there's ever anything more important to spend your money on, please spend your money on that uh, over me. Um, but I appreciate the thought. Okay, let's do this.
good a choice. McDuff, gift him out, subs. Thank you so much. Welcome to anyone uh, with a new sub. Okay, Dan, let's look at this. Good Played a lot of games before. A lot of Zelda games, a lot of puzzle games. You can figure this out. You need that top left one anywhere else. How are you going to get an angle where you can actually move it? Oh, duh. Wait. It's not gonna work, is it? Wait, 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 wait. Good choice. Okay. Okay. Really, Dan? Great. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. The goal of this puzzle is to get behind some business up there. Fucking shit. I need to get there. Up left. I love logic puzzles, and most like Zelda puzzles. Something about certain ones like this just drive me nuts. Okay, okay. Okay. If I drink more. Bartman, you saying that is appropriate. Wait, no. Wait! Wait. Wait. to Artesian Builds there in the chat. If you want a custom PC build, gaming PC or streaming PC, editing PC, you got a discount code right there. Uh, I actually saw people from the chat uh, bought PCs from there. I talked to Artesian Builds, and uh, that is awesome. They do cool stuff, and uh, I would fully support if you folks want to get something from Artesian Builds. I, want to, I would support them. Of course it's for you, but yes. Okay. Now... Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Yes. Kind of really smart. Not on the stream. Oh, do I have to be a fucking kid? It is 12.43. I'm considering doing... Okay, here's the thing. There's a, a fire business up there. The Death, the Death Mountain, as they call it. Also, Curse the Moon. I can do a chat poll. How does that sound? I am thrilled to do either one. I would love to keep playing this, or I would love to play uh, Curse the Moon. Castle Dania? Castle Dania. Hmm. Well, it's not a Castle Mania game. Man, late night. Curse the Moon, eh? 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 All right, this is it seems like a good spot to save, right? I would call it Castlevania if it wasn't a uh, a uh, not a Castlevania game. Vinnystania, I thought was great because that was an established brand, and we changed it. I think I'm just gonna do Dan plays Bloodstained. Curse the moon. How does that sound? Um, let's let's do some pole stuff. Some pole action. I think we all win no matter what. We got two great games. I've heard the Curse the Moon is great, um, but we don't know. So let's go over here. Okay. I got this great thing on Twitch where my quick actions in Stream Manager never save. So every single time I do a stream, I have to go in and turn on every single thing, like a poll, ads, squad stream, watch party, uh, extensions. It's a real fun time. Um, it's at the point now where I'm doing so much streaming stuff that it's like, it's a process. It's like an hour long process to get ready to stream just because I'm a lot of variables and switches to flip, like, okay, do I want this on? Do I want that on? Okay, well, I got somebody coming in on Discord, gotta do this, gotta do a test call. It has turned into quite the production. That is not a complaint. I find it very fun. But, uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Okay. Three minute vote, because this will determine Probably the remainder of the night. We'll see where the night takes us. Poll begins. Okay, it's some fire temple votes. Curse the moon taking over here. Okay. Um, Curse the moon. Decent lead. Fire. Whoa, whoa, 
actually, ah, it's pretty close. Pretty close, actually. Curse the Moon with a four-vote lead now. Okay, okay. Ooh, it's a close one. It's a real close one. Hmm. Oh, Russell House, that's a good point. I had not thought of that. <laughs> That's correct, the yeah, shuffle. Twitch is smart. Curse the moon. Still got plenty of time left on this uh, on this vote here, so we'll hang out and chat. Well, uh, here, I'll run around while this vote is continuing. Curse the moon with a, a strong lead right now. Yeah, it is. Doesn't the egg have something to do here? chicken. Okay. How about this? Alright, we'll see. Ya. Can't remember what you give me, but sure. I'll have to remember to go back there sometime. Still a close vote. We are four votes away. It's a th Ooh, 37 votes curse the moon, 34 fire temple. Can I put in an anonymous vote here? No, I don't. I'm kind of torn, so I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sway this one way or another. I'm going to let this is purely the people, the folks at home, get to choose this. Fable, I like Fable. I don't. I don't know if I'd, it'd be on the short list to stream, but I like it a lot. Russell House, yeah. Okay, no new goobers. Still a close vote. 53-47 percent split. With a little bit of time left, anybody's got strong feelings about Curse of the Moon 2 versus continuing on with the Fire Temple. Get them votes in, in the chat. Curse the Moon, looking real good here. I'll get in and do this uh, target game one way or another. Vote is ending soon. Ooh, it's two votes. Ooh, one vote away. 42-41, Curse the Moon. Oh dear. And Curse of the Moon wins by one vote. 51% Curse of the Moon to 49% Fire Temple. Goodness. That's crazy. Wow. I'm sorry, Go Birds. I know you want to see Fire Temple. I am not done with my, uh, my playthrough of Ocarina of Time by any means. But uh, for tonight, we're going to switch over to some late night Bloodstained, which sounds pretty nice. Um, it is a divided chat. I'm, I, I hope uh, no one is too offended at the switch. I feel like we got some real progress in, even with the, uh, the crazy stuff with the, uh, whatchamacallits. You know what I'm trying to say, the, the thing not working good. on the 3DS with the motion. It's one of the best uses of the motion. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's, that's a real deal. There we go, thank you. Sure. 